Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otto Stee and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Last time, while waiting for the cool steamant to go dormant, we started with a draglet farm up here, uh, which is nearly complete. Um, of course, it will only be fully operational uh, once we can get the hydrogen in uh, here from from the top um, because then the scales of the Draco um, will regrow once we shear them however up to that point uh, they will still feed on uh, the mealwood and create a bit of uh, phosphorite uh, which we will need uh, for the Weaswords plants so that way we are self-sufficient now then let's look what we have here we are looking for a good doctor but these ones uh, do not have that particular skill sets. Uh, we also have salt water and bristle berries. So let's take the bristle berries. Uh, not that we are in dire need for food, but let's take it anyway. Uh, down here, we prepared another farm. So um, let's finish that off as well. Uh, we will have creature feeder. And the way this is set up, we will not have a stable here. Uh, but this will be our uh, poke shell uh, farm. And we also dug out a bit down here in order to go a bit further down. Um, don't need that piece of ladder. Okay. We are nearing completion here. Um, maybe we can have a door up here. This could work. Um, get rid of them. Um, or maybe uh, put it down here. And have a door. station uh, we need a three high space um, all right 
here is what we will do. We will convert this like that. Put on a bit more wall on this side. block here and you just build yourself in that's that's smart yep parkour to get there jumping down jumping up again but they can reach it so what shall we feed the poke shells um, a rotten pile of decayed food um, but not the polluted dirt, because the polluted dirt we can put on the uh, composter and convert back to dirt. So that's a, a valuable resource. But we do have a bit of uh, decayed food lying around. And we can snack this poke shell and put him in there. also be isolated then on here we want to deconstruct the ladder and have a door in place because this is the way to the outside of our base right because uh, If we zoom out a bit, uh, all this uh, insulated tile, that's where the border of our inner base will be. So that's to keep the, the inner part uh, relatively uh, cool. Um, uh, here you can see it in a uh, greenish uh, color area we have some say uh, machines that generate heat over here um, so we want to keep anything inside in the green temperature range and uh, everything that is warmer on the outside so that's that. Still idle. How are we doing down here? We're making a bit of progress. There is another cold biome that could have potential. Uh, did finish up the research then here these farms are also all done um, did we manage to finish the uh, piping yes so the hydrogen will go 
to our two generators. Then it will go in here because uh, a hydrogen atmosphere for cooling is way better than any other atmosphere. And then we also will pump up uh, hydrogen up here to fill the uh, upper portion of this area so the scales of the draglets will regrow after we shear them. Um, and somewhere down here I spotted another hatchling. So let's grab that as well. And coal wise we are already at 60 tons and we did not really go out of our way to dig out coal. So a good part comes here from our uh, hatch farm. And probably we need it to be a bit bigger, uh, maybe uh, uh, one or two more farms like this, and then we should have a sustainable coal supply to supply our uh, coal generator, especially when keeping in mind that the uh, the, the coal generators will only run intermittently. Okay, we got new printables. We are looking for a doctor, which is none of those, and we can opt for rust. But on this map, rust is not that useful. You can use rust to create uh, uh, oxygen and uh, and iron, um, but it's quite energy intensive. And on this map, we do not really have a sustainable uh, resource for rust. So. That's not really uh, something good we can do. Um, maybe let's also dig a bit in this direction. We are trying to see uh, what surrounds us here. And we are especially interested in any kind of geysers, volcanoes. Up here we have something. So let's see what this actually is. It's a steam vent. So that one will produce hot steam while uh, this one will produce cold steam. Cold steam is just slightly above 100 degrees Celsius and I think hot steam is around 180 degrees Celsius. So we could use that um, in combination with a steam uh, turbine to cool it down and get more water out of it. But this will, this steam vent will sustain our oxygen needs. And then eventually we will need another water source that uh, will supplement this basin here um, for our uh, uh, farming needs and whatever we need in, in our base. So let's do a bit of a ladder up here 
and dig out this uh, iron ore. And then go a bit further in this direction. over there well if we go down all the way we should find some some oil and eventually we will need that but it's not a pressing metal at this point in time time at least for some of those and I see here the second layer is now also complete with uh, mushrooms so let's plan for the last layer right still active and it can still take a while until it becomes inactive but we, we shall keep a close eye on it so we do not miss it uh, and can jump in as soon as it goes uh, dormant, uh, analyze it, finish all the uh, stuff that we need to do in here and then can have this, this system uh, up and running. Let's do a bit of cleanup in here. Yeah, we did a lot of research and did not really have a close look at what we get here. So let's check this just off for now. Right, more iron on this side. I think we can manage to squeeze our way through here. in there a bit okay our directlets have hatched so let's catch them and put them into the form up here at this point we do not need to wire up our shearing station uh, because their scales will not yet regrow so not shearing them is easier on the eye Eventually, we will have to go 
down somewhere, so um, why not do it here? It is a long way, so I would not be surprised if uh, they run out of oxygen and uh, it could take quite a while until they get there. So let's have another look if we can spot something on this side. No. Usually you can find more geysers and volcanoes. So it's it's a bit disappointing. But we have not yet explored a good good portion of this map. Uh, but I think this will be all for this episode. I hope you enjoy enjoyed it and will turn in for the next one. So, see you soon. Goodbye.